What's up everyone, Clay here back with another Red Tech and today we're talking about Global Shutter. More specifically, we're talking about Komodo's Global Shutter and how it differs from your average rolling shutter. We're also gonna talk about some negative effects you can avoid by using a Global Shutter. Right, definition time. So a global shutter describes a sensor where the image area per frame is scanned simultaneously. This is in comparison to a rolling shutter where the image is scanned top to bottom, line by line. This method creates a little bit of latency between the top of the image and the bottom of the image. Now in a cinema camera, that latency is crazy short, but it is still there. And that latency existing might cause some shots to appear differently. So why even bother with a rolling shutter at all? Why isn't every camera on the market global shutter just to avoid the risk of latency? Well, to be honest, the sacrifices in dynamic range coupled with the process requirements meant that it was really difficult to get a cinema quality camera that had a global shutter. And often, you made significant sacrifices in dynamic range. That is, until the engineers at RED developed the Komodo sensor. It's an amazing 16 plus stops of dynamic range and you have global shutter. Let's talk about some of the issues that Global Shutter helps to resolve. We're going to look at two rolling shutter issues and how Komodo and Global Shutter means cleaner capture. First, we have skew. This occurs when a very fast object moves in frame or when the camera moves very quickly past an object. We're going to take a look at a couple side-by-side -side examples of Global Shutter and rolling shutter. Side-by-side, -side, we see the effects, but imagine trying to track or comp out an object that keeps changing shape. I bet a lot of you don't have to imagine, you know how frustrating that can be. All right, now let's talk flash. For both short burst flash, as well as refresh rate issues, Komodo's global shutter sensor means that clean capture is possible where it wasn't before. As we can see here, rolling shutter displays its limitations. Capturing in waves causes the light to pulse in a way that our eyes don't perceive naturally, and you also get half frames with flashes. Whereas a global shutter, we see the flashes as they would appear to our eyes. When it comes to freezing motion, capturing strobing, or mounting this little bad boy just about anywhere you want to, there's really no substitute for Komodo's global shutter sensor. The amount of technology packed into that tiny form factor blows my mind, and the global shutter is a huge part of that. So thanks for watching, tune in for more red techs, like, post, and subscribe, and keep creating.